Hello everyone, Brandon Bledsoe from Puget Sound Preppers here again and today we're going to go over the Puget Sound Preppers wish list for Christmas. And um, this list is not going to be complete or comprehensive, it won't have everything I'd like to have on it and I'll mention some stuff I don't have that I'd like to have but anyways this is for the prepper or survivalist or the wannabe in your life, the person who wants to get started or already has or already has a bug out bag. Or if you are a prepper or survivalist and you think that your family is woefully underprepared and become lead weights around your ankles, you can get them started. It's a good way to go. Nothing like the gift of survival, huh? I have tried to keep each individual item on this list under $100. Some of them will cost about $0.68 cents and some of them will cost well, more. But anyways, it's just some little last minute ideas for the prepper or survivalist in your life or outdoorsman or whatever you have, whatever have you. So let's go ahead and get started and hopefully I can inspire you for a stocking stuffer or something. Also, I am now reminded that certain items I'm not going to unpack and show all the way, so I'll just say them. You can go back in my other videos and find some of them, like a tent. The tent I carry costs $22 and you can find it at Walmart. It's the smallest one they have, I promise. So that's a good idea. You can get them a tent that fits in their bug out bag. You can also get them the compression sack to go with it. There's another good idea, just the compression sack. They sell those at Walmart for $10. There's a lot of little $10 items in the camping section. Compression sack is a good way to go. This is the emergency bivy for, from Survive Outdoor Longer or uh, SOL. The irony of that being a survival company never, ever fails me. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. But this thing is about $17. You can find it, I think I bought this one at Dick's, and it basically is an emergency blanket that's turned into a sleeping bag. I'm not unpacking it for obvious reasons. See, this is the name of it there. Um, the outside of it can either be a reflective material, like an emergency blanket for bringing heat in, or you can flip it inside out and keep the heat in, and the outside will be safety orange. So that's a really handy little item. It can be kept in the vehicle or in your bug out bag or your EDC bag, whatever you want. I think they even put this inside of gear pods when you order their kits. So the SOL emergency bivy. With some of these items, I'm not going to go over all of the uses, but this is the Grafco triangular bandage. In the Army, this is about as handy as duct tape. It has about 101 uses, and it is made of cotton and comes with two safety pins. This is a wonderful multi-use item. Um, I'm guessing they cost about $2, and you can probably find something similar at Walmart. If not, Google this thing. Let's face facts, if you're into survival or camping or anything like that, you're probably into shooting. So a wonderful gift is boxes of ammunition. See, I have a box of 50 40 cal rounds for the range here, and it cost me about $19. 100 rounds of Talamo 223 will cost you 29 box of 22 if you can find it. You might find it next to Hoffa's body is about $7. And some 7.62 by 54, $13. Anyway, whatever your poison is, they usually come in affordable sizes for the shooter in your life. This is most definitely a higher end item. You saw it on my bedding and clothing section, I think. This is the Ozark Trails Cocoon 200. It is a down sleeping bag that is rated to 32 degrees. It doesn't weigh much like they actually describe the weight in grams, as in 720 of them. And it's very small, goes in the bug out bag, EDC kit, camping kit, whatever have you. Like I said, this is definitely a higher end item. I think I paid about $85 for this one. A good pair of trauma shears. They'll cut through most anything that you really need to is in, within reason. I uh, haven't bought any, well, ever. I got most of mine from the Army. I have them everywhere. And I'm assuming they'll cost under $10. Don't quote me on that, though. Very handy multi-use item. Like I said, this is just a good gift all around. It's a small lifeline um, first aid kit they come in various sizes which each one has more stuff but the cost goes up but I think the most expensive one I've seen is like $30 they're small they got a nice little semi hard shell to go in and they got all your handy dandy little items just right there in them this doesn't even have to be for a prepper or survivalist this is just a nice gift to get somebody to put in their car or in their house and they can be found at most outdoor stores or even Walmart this is a wire saw I don't know exactly what the brand is you can find it at most surplus stores or outdoor stores. Or I think even Walmart has a version of them. It's just a handy item. It, uh, I think the name is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, it probably won't cost you more than $5. And again, they're pretty easy to find. It makes a great stocking stuffer. 
This one you can put together for them. You don't just have to get the one item, but this is my dish cleaning kit. And I've got a couple of sponges that have scrubbers wrapped around them. Got a travel bottle of dishwashing liquid. And I've got a dish, uh, dish towel in there for drying the item. This is all made to keep it pretty. I think I've got a dish rag in there as well. But this is made to get your dishes clean with a minimal amount of water wasted and everything. You can put this together for them for under $10. It's a very nice item to have in bug out bags and camping gear and whatnot. And while we're on the subject, if they really are into survival and stuff, they will appreciate a good bag of Ziploc brand bags. Very handy. The emergency blanket, again, not just for the survivalist or outdoorsman, but if you are yourself are a survivalist or a prepper, this is nice to get people who just don't get it to put in their car or whatever have you. Emergency blankets have a wide range of uses and can usually be found for under $20. Band-Aids. Everybody loves Band-Aids. They're very handy, and if you're really nice, you'll get them the ones that have Neosporin infused. If you need more explanation on Band-Aids, I can't help you. Chem lights. Who doesn't like chem lights, sir? For everybody else, glow sticks. Um, not sure what they cost. Uh, you can find a variety of prices, but just make sure they're decent quality. It's on you to do that, but I think Coleman's aren't bad. They, a decent pack of them shouldn't cost you more than $10, 10 or 15 Don't quote me on it, but they're not expensive, and they're handy for the vehicle or the backpack or the boat. You know, they got nice little symbols that show you where they're they're handy. And I'm sure that's not all of them. Anyways, who doesn't love Kim Lights? Hall's Cough Drops. They should have their own video. They have a plethora of uses. And they're perfect for any bug out bag. I should, you, when I was in Iraq, I always kept a few in my pocket. I'm not going to go into all of their uses. But they just if you know somebody who already keeps bug out bags or whatnot. Or just wants something extra to throw in there. Get them a big fat pack of Hall's. As you're going to learn from this video and all the other ones I make, I believe greatly in taking care of your feet. So if you already keep a bug out bag or whoever you're shopping for does, any kind, I, you can see I bought the store brand, any kind of athlete's foot spray is very handy because your feet are going to be killing you if you get out there on a hike and stuff and you're not used to this or you get them wet or anything. Taking care of your feet is important because they're the thing you rely on the most out there really. So this is a handy stocking stuffer for your survivalist. Moleskin. If you've ever been in the military, you already love it. It's great for taking care of corns, calluses, and blisters. You should keep some in your vehicle. You should keep some in your pocket sometimes, but it's great for bug out bags, EDC kits, camping kits, or whatever have you. All right, we had to bring him up eventually. This is the Bear Grylls Ultimate Fixed Blade Knife. I haven't done a really good review on this thing yet, but I like it. I carry it with me every day. It's a good knife, and it's got just a couple, it's got a lot of good features to it. Number one is the knife itself is nice, knife and hefty, knife and hefty, nice and hefty. Um, it's got a notch in it in the back there for use on a flint striker. It comes with its own nice little flint rod there that fits right inside of the sheath. Yes, you will probably have to use the knife to click it out of there because it's pretty firm. The sheath itself is made to go on your belt and it's got a pull through sharpener on the back and it's got a nice little pocket up there in the top. Where you stick this little pamphlet he gives you, Bears Essentials or Priorities of Survival. And it's got a whistle on it. I'm trying to get it in view there without stabbing myself. It's got two little holes so that you could lash it to something if you needed to to make a spear. Probably its most underused feature. And the back end is a very solid hammer. And I actually found a very good review video where a dude busted out of a truck using this. So. That was what helped convince me. I'll make my own video for it here soon, but this is definitely a higher end item. I think this one cost me $80. This is another item from Walmart's $10 menu. This is the backpacker's tarp that I keep in my bug out bag. Its primary use would be to cover my bug out bag if I didn't want to give it room in the tent. This, tent, this tarp is five foot wide by seven feet long. And like I said, it's $10 at Walmart's little camping section. Very handy. We all know what these are. This is a little paracord survival bracelet. This is part of some the, of this is actually the one I wear every day. Yeah, well, you know, well, you all know what they are for. You, if you needed some paracord, which I think paracord's right up there with duct tape, that you take this thing apart and you've got about 12 feet of paracord. The bigger the bracelet, the more paracord you're going to have. But don't let that be part of why you buy it. Just buy it to make and make sure it fits because even a little bit can help. And with that said, you could also get them a whole roll of paracord. As for finding these, you can find them just about anywhere. I'm pretty sure even Hobby Lobby sells kits for making them now. 
You can find them at military and outdoor stores and whatnot. I'm sure Walmart has them. Um, this is not, of course, a whole roll. I make these little bundles because I have yet to order the, what do they call that thing? The little cord keeper tool. I think it's really cool. It's got little holes for cutting it. You wrap about 100 feet of this on it, and it's got a little mini bic for burning the ends. If you're shopping for someone who loves this stuff already, you could look that thing up. I think it's called the cord keeper, and I'm going to order myself one. Paracord, by the roll, I usually think cost at least $30. Don't quote me, but it's just a very handy item. Like I said, second only to duct tape. All right, you've seen this in my um, cooking video, and I think that I used this stove for one of my famous Let's Boil Water videos for a demonstration. And this is the Coleman Backpacker Stove. It's the it's the butane propane mix burner. The stove itself is very small, perfect for vehicles and bug out bags and whatever have you. Yeah, I think it cost at least $30, but it's worth every penny. And the fuel, as seen here, will cost you about $5 a can. You can keep this and one can of fuel in your vehicle or in your bug out bag. I think I carry four cans, but you could even get them together all together. It should cost you about $35. And it's great for anyone who fits into the categories I've mentioned before. Little cans of bug spray, good to keep everywhere. They're self-explanatory. Anti-diarrhea pills, great for everyone's bug out bag, EDC kit, or for the vehicle. These are the Powerade drops I keep for the electrolytes in my bag, bug out bag. Very small, I think it costs 3 or $4. Great to keep, like I said, in any survival kit, bug out bag, anything, any place you can fit them. Snake bite kit cost you five to ten dollars at Walmart or any outdoor stores. Most of them look something like this. I don't want to get all the stuff out because it never goes back in, right? Small bottle of a leave or Tylenol, ibuprofen, any kind of little pain reliever, ache stopper, fever breaker, and it's a great anti-inflammatory. These are all good things to have. Sewing kit, you can find a hundred different versions of them that'll all fit in your pocket, and that by that matter in your bug out bag pretty single use item as far as I'm concerned it's made to do really one thing but always handy to have in the vehicle or in the bug out bag you can find them at Walmart for under five dollars good sturdy socks and in the case of winter good sturdy woolen socks we all know why, why I like wool wool will keep you warm even when it's wet and thicker socks of course have more support and more cushion like I said always take care of your feet I think I got this pair for about six bucks at Walmart you can buy the Rocky brand in packs. The always wonderful Nalgene bottle. If you're going to get it for them, go for a liter. That way it can go in the bug out bag, vehicle, or they can use it every day if they want. Nalgene bottles are wonderful. You've seen my reviews on them and you've heard the stories about people throwing them over a cliff just to see if it would still hold up. Uh, I think these are about 10 to $20. I don't remember. Whatever it is, they're worth the price. You can usually find them at Dick's Academy. I don't think Walmart sells Nalgene. I don't know. I don't think they do, but I think Target does. One liter platypus bottle. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that this and the Nalgene bottle are essentials in your water supply for your bug out bag. The, I'm not going to go into exactly why you want the type of this type of bottle, but platypus is one of the best brands in my opinion. And again, I think this costs like 10 to $20. Again, you can find it at most outdoor stores. These are the little chemical hand warmers. You know, you crush the pack or whatnot, and they generate heat for about 10 hours. And they make them, like, big enough to stick to your body. They make them big enough to put in your pocket or in your boot or just in your glove or just to hold on to. You've all heard me before talk about the survivor mentality. Well, sometimes the survivor mentality is a little bit easier to maintain when you can get rid of some of the discomfort that is affecting you from the elements. Uh, I think these things cost about $6 for a pack. I think this came with six in it. I've probably used some out of it. But you can find these at Walmart or any kind of other outdoor store. Fire sticks. Instant tender. They say they're waterproof. I haven't put them to the complete test as far as that goes. I've lit them after sticking them in a cup of water. But you'll see these in the fire video that I haven't made yet. Soon to come, I promise. But these cost like 2 or $3 a pack, I think. Great for the bug out bag, EDC kit, or vehicle. And you can find them just about anywhere. There are all manner of size and types of camp cutlery. I like this real tough plastic stuff because it's cheap, about 3 or $4. You can, I found these at Dick's. You can find them at Dick's Academy or whatever. Has the essentials for one person. Really easy to clean. Make a great stocking stuffer. Great for the bug out bag. 
My mother has just informed me that my words are getting redundant, so we're going to try and curb that some. If she does, keeps it up, I'll put her on the video, which I know she doesn't want. So this is a pack, uh, a bottle of allergy relief medication, commonly known as Benadryl. This is the store brand. It's all diphenhydramine. Look for that fancy word, diphenhydramine. Um, again, this is kind of like the Tylenol and stuff I showed you before. It's just handy to keep in your bug out bag or, sur or survival kit. Uh, allergies can be debilitating. Waterproof matches. They can be found in any camping section of any store that has a camping section. And they don't cost a great deal. I think a big pack, like eight packs of them, cost under $5. Chigaway can be found in the medicine section at Walmart. This, if you have ever had a bad case of chiggers or wicked mosquito bites when out camping or hiking or anything, then this stuff is a lifesaver. I personally use it. I keep two bottles in my bug out bag. The, you just get chiggers one time and you'll understand why you'll love this. It's great for anybody who likes to be outdoors. The multi-use metal cup can be found at Walmart or the other outdoor stores. I picked this one up at Dick's for $6, I think. If you've seen my videos on cooking and everything, then this is a handy item. This is one of the handier items in the cooking section. Its uses are vast. For the shooter you know, this is the gun sock. If they don't like to carry their guns in cases and everything, this just helps to keep some dirt, dust, and damage off of it. They cost $12. I buy mine at Walmart. They're perfect for your rifles. Another great multi-use item stocking stuffer for the bug out bag is a roll of spider wire. Get the heaviest test you can. Single uh, mono, I guess is what they call it, not the braided stuff. I'm not going to go into all of its uses right now, and I don't remember what spider wire costs, but it's $10 or less, I, less, I believe. You can find it at Walmart or any place that has a fi fishing section. This is another higher end item. It is obviously a compass, but this is the military lens attic compass. You can order them offline or you can find them. If you have access to base, you can find them at clothing and sales. Most of your surplus stores will have them. Your outdoor stores, they'll all carry them. This one is made by Kaminga. And it even says, it even has the wonderful little U.S. emblem we all love. The This is one of the better compasses in my opinion. Maybe that's just because it's what I was trained to use. These things generally cost about $50 for a really good one. You can find... Ones that don't say U.S. on them and they probably cost less at your outdoor stores. This is a Fox 40 whistle. It is the Fox 40 Micro. These are my favorite whistles. One, it doesn't have that little ball inside that makes a lot of noise and gives you away. And it basically has a high enough range to blow your eardrums out if you're not careful with it. You don't want anybody standing around you when you use this piece of survival equipment. They come in packs of two and I think they cost $5 or less. I pick them up at Dick's or Academy. This isn't just good for the bug out bag or EDC kit. This is great for the vehicle. Put one in your kid's vehicle. If your kids have a cell phone and they're going anywhere, always just put this in there. This is a little $10 Rayovac charger. It uses four AA batteries. You can get one decent charge off of it if you give it the right batteries. I like these Duracell Quantums. And this could make a great gift together. 20 bucks and you've got these uh, for a 10 pack of the Quantums. And... Especially if you have kids that have cell phones and everything. I love what they actually put on the package. You know, you don't ever have to be worried sick and hear the words, my, my cell phone battery was dead again. You just get them an extra charger if their phone charges off USB or has a way to be converted to USB. And stick this in their vehicle, in their overnight bag. Anything you can put this in, this is a handy item. And I found mine at Walmart. For the hunter or the person who thinks they may need these in their bug out bag... This is a small, cheap set of uh, skinning knives. This came, is $20 from Walmart. It's made by Remington. Definitely not the greatest set in the world, but they get the job done. Uh, it's got a gut hook, a skinner, and a drop point in it. And they're just handy if you need them. I know I say handy a lot. Don't say anything. This is the soap I keep in my bug out bag. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. You open it up like a little pack of breath mints. And the show, see, eh, soap is in little leaves like the mints. You dissolve one or two of these in the water and you wash yourself if you have the chance to bathe when you are bugging out from the forces that are tearing the world apart. This is one of three little dry bags. I've demonstrated them before in my video on clothing, I believe. They come in a pack of three. They're in top Walmart's little $10 section. 
and each one is this is, I think this is the smallest one they're color coded there's red yellow and blue so that you can write down what your which items are which if you need to for memory um, my other two are currently in use but you don't even have to have a specific purpose for them right away you can just put them in your bug out bag in case you need them these are what all of my clothes are kept in, in my bug out bag if you're getting them started on a good kit to carry get them a toothbrush with one of these little travel cases on it all together should cost you three or four dollars a travel case i think is less than a dollar it's just what great to put in your bug out bag or in your vehicle it's always nice to have a toothbrush I carry this little camping multi-spice in my bug out bag and I carry one in my EDC bag. I might even put one in my truck, especially if you have kids or somebody who just doesn't have any interest in being outdoors and you get stuck outdoors and you happen to have your kit with you. It's always nice to be able to make your food more palatable and experiment with how you're going to cook your squirrel. This cost five or six dollars and I found mine in the camping section at Walmart. It has a lot of spices to it. It has salt, like salt got a double section. We have paprika, curry, Cayenne pepper, garlic salt, black pepper. So like I said, if you just have to make the food more palatable. Personally, I like salt squirrel and garlic salt squirrel with a little bit of curry and paprika. This is the Shema. They cost about $20 if you want a really good one. I buy mine at the military stores. You should be able to find them at the surplus store. Any place that will supply the, the wannabe operator or anything. Um, you'll see this in half my videos. It's another one of the duct tape like multi-use items. Again, it's about twenty dollars, and you should find them at just about any military store. If you watch my videos, you'll understand why this thing is so great. Again, my mother has interjected that maybe, just maybe, this is the first one of my videos that you're seeing if you've stumbled across it in Puget Sound Preppers. So the Shema's primary use is as a head covering by people in the Middle East. We have adopted them as a scarf that you can use to cover your head in the middle of a sandstorm. It can be, it's just a very large scarf. Generally, when you see the terrorist in the movies or being portrayed, this is what they're using to cover their face. But it actually is a good item. It has 101 uses. The primary one is as a head covering or you can carry things in it. I'm not getting into all of them. It does have a purpose. Go find it. Okay, so I don't have mine to show right now because I'm in a small moment of panic. I'll, I'm sure I'll find it. I probably put it in the front seat of my truck or something to use. But a headlamp, Headlamp headlamps are wonderful. Depending on the brand you buy, they can cost anywhere from $10 to $100. The one I use is a Coleman. So it costs like $11 and it needs like a couple of AAA batteries. Headlamps are infinitely useful. Again, for the shooter in your life, if they are the good old all-American AR-15 shooter, there's several gifts to be seen right here. First is your PMAG made by Magpul. I love these things. They're what I sh they're what I use for mine. They are top of the line, and they can be found from between twelve and twenty dollars, depending on where you find them. They are your standard thirty round magazine, and they were designed to be used with Magpul's original flagship item, the actual Magpul. These come in packs of three. I believe I paid eight dollars for each pack. You fit them onto your magazine so that they're easier to pull out of the magazine holder. Both great gifts. If you you could just buy them in little sets of three mags to three mag pulls, but if they're already using these, then just get them mag pulls. If you do want to get them a stove, the way to go with stoves, in my opinion, aside from the one I showed you, is Esbit. This is your standard Esbit, and if you watch my cooking video, you'll hear the full description on it. This is a little pocket stove, cost about ten dollars. They use fuel cubes, which are another great stocking stuffer if you do get them the stove. Fuel cubes, I think, cost about, huh, I actually don't remember what they cost. We'll say $10 or below a box is what they should cost if you get them during the camping season. And they come, I think, 12 cubes to a pack. I keep these things in my truck. I keep them in all my bags. And the Esbit itself can hold about four of them inside of it. I'm not going to give you a full demonstration of the Esbit right now. And if you wanted to get into the higher end Esbits, You've seen this in my cooking video as well. This is a metal cup, a cook pot, and an Esbit stove all in one. This is the Esbit cook pot, and it costs $30. And they, it's wonderful because it goes, all of the stuff stows compactly in it. You put the stove down in the cook pot, put the lid on, and stuff it in its little mesh bag. All these Esbit products are great for the prepper or survivalist or camper or hunter in your life. 
Watch the video on water and you'll see these. These are water treatment tablets. Uh, you find them at Walmart or camping stores or whatnot. And that's pretty much where you find all of this stuff. But these, I, the prices on them vary. I've seen them cost $5 and I've seen them cost $10. They're great to have in your vehicle, bug out bag, all the, all the places that it's good to stuff things like this. Water treatment tablets are good to have. I'm going to stop listing all the good places to put them. This is obviously Neosporin. I don't know exactly what it costs, but you can find it at Walmart. It is self-explanatory. Put it where you can get it. Neosporin also comes in this little Neosporin to go spray keychain. I keep this around because I have an infant. If you're looking for your stocking stuffers, you can get this little Coleman uh, light. It goes on a keychain, uses one AAA, and is very handy. Uh, my favorite joke is that in a power outage, I pull this out of my pocket and use it to find a bigger flashlight. For the shooter, a small bottle of rim oil that goes in your pocket or any bag you can put it in. I think I paid about $5 for this one at Walmart. If you know if you know any kind of hardcore outdoors person, these are Army Rehydration Salts. You can find things similar to them on Amazon. They are a higher end item, but they are definitely great for your survival packs If you for the medical section if you feel you could get severely dehydrated. Watch my video on water and hydration for the full description of them. In my opinion, one of the ultimate stocking stuffers, Carmex, just plain Carmex. It is good, not just as a lip balm, but if you're out in the cold, you can put this on your nose or ears, anything that can get frostbite from the wind or wind burnt or anything like that, it'll help protect your skin. If you'll watch, whenever the fire video gets made, you'll get, you'll see that this is also as a petroleum based, petroleum based item. It is good for using to make your tinder burn longer and help protect it from some water if you're trying to start a fire. I'll give you the full rundown on all of that, but this is a dollar multi-use item. Again, with the Gerber knives, if you really want to go high end, if you want to, if you care about them that much, my personal favorite that I carry on me that I put in my truck today is my Gerber DMF Tonto folder. It is not an automatic. This is an automatic. Your, the DMF Tonto folder, like most of their manual knives, will cost you around $40 or $50. Their automatics, like this one, can cost you over $100. But in my opinion, Gerber is the way to go for hardcore outdoors knives. Knives, or knives of any kind, really. But uh, Gerber also makes the Bear Gorillas knife. If you know someone who's in the military, try and get them to order it for you. They get a discount. This little flint and steel I found the other day will be featured in the fire video. I got it for $15 at US Cav. That's the only place I've seen them so far. They are made to fit onto your keychain or your dog tags as you can see with mine here. Uh, this is a great pocket item for redundancy in fire. I believe fire is an area to have a lot of redundancy. And I think they cost $16 if you get it with a brass tube. Again, just a great item to get, a small item to get the person you know who likes this kind of stuff. Ah, yes, the P-38 can opener can be found at just about any military surplus store. has the wonderful little U.S. mark on it. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't. The camera won't focus on it. This thing cost about 75 cents at the most. And, ah, there's not enough good things to say about the P-38 can opener. I like to keep mine on my dog tags. Here we have larger flint and steel. And this is the ever wonderful magnesium and flint block as you can see I've used mine some I believe this one is the military type but you can find them at just about any outdoor store or anything just make sure you check the quality on the brand there are some ones coming out of China that the magnesium just doesn't do good at all and they usually cost about eight dollars I think just say ten dollars just to be sure it has the wonderful little keychain clip on it and everything and this is the fire flash flint and steel I don't remember what they cost but they're pretty easy to find these are, the S, these are the SOL duct tape rolls. They come two to a pack from Dick's. Uh, I don't know if they sell them anywhere else, but they are definitely made by SOL. Five bucks will get you two 50-foot rolls of duct tape. I carry one of these in my pocket. Bic lighters. Great anywhere you can put them. Coleman mess kit. I'm not going to drag it out. You can see it in my food video. You can find a variety of mess kits of sizes. There's great for the camper or survivalist. Everybody would love to have one. If you think somebody needs to be prepared, tell them, get them one and tell them to stick it in their vehicle. This mess kit, I believe, cost about $20. That's about the average price on some good ones. 
Folding saws can be found at just about anywhere that sells outdoor stuff for $10 or so. This is another hygiene body care type item. This is Body Glide. This stuff is wonderful. If you're getting into, you know, hiking for bugging out, you're trying to get back in shape, which again is a very important part of survival and everything, just go ahead and take a stick of this with you. Because when you start to chafe, and you probably will, you are going to, your survivor's mentality and your motivation is utterly destroyed. Uh, it costs $10 a bar. I buy it at Dick's Sporting Goods, but I've seen it other places. Uh, it's worth every penny. Another item in the fire section is the Blast Match. Cost seventeen dollars. I've only ever seen them made by this one brand. You can watch my video on the blast match. Uh, these are great for your fire kit. I keep this one in my truck. I keep a little pouch with some good old fashioned wooden number two pencils inside of my EDC kit. I keep some sharpened, some unsharpened, and I keep this nice little metal hand sharpener in there. I'm pretty picky when it comes to uh, wanting to keep my pencil sharp, so I use this Kumo German sharpener that you can buy at Hobby Lobby. All together, this should all cost you about $20 if you buy a nice little pouch for them. One day, the pens will run out of ink, and you, you'll eventually run out of pencil, but being able to keep notes on what you're doing or whatever you've used up or anything when you're out camping, hiking, playing survival, or actually bugging out is ever handy, and there, nothing beats the wood, good old wood number two pencil because you can sharpen it with your knife if you need to. The U.S. Army wool blanket cost you about $25 at a military surplus, surplus store. We all know why I love wool. This is great to keep in your vehicle, especially in your vehicle, just in case. And I like to keep mine strapped in my bug out bag. To go with the pencils, you can get them one of those right in the rain memo books. They sell them at most of your outdoor stores or military stores. They also sell a pen that goes with this thing. It's made to be written on when wet. Or you can get them my favorite, the moleskin notebooks. I keep one in my pocket. The ability to write down things down and keep notes is you just you wouldn't believe how valuable it is until you don't have something to do it with. These most these books aren't exactly expensive. I think you get these for like ten dollars for three, these here. And this these right in the rain books. They come in this exact book, they come in a bigger size that looks just like it, and they cost anywhere from fifteen to six dollars i think the smallest one is a little flip memo pad multi-tools come in all shapes sizes and prices a good one in my opinion will cost you anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars this is a gerber one uh, i like to keep this on my belt with me and if you're really looking to help somebody out get them started on their prepping or survival kit a multi-tool is the way to go you can find them just about anywhere just check your brands like i said you get what you pay for this isn't everything I wanted to put on there. There's a ton of stuff you can put in to these kits and everything. I'm not trying to make a whole bug out list. I'm just trying to give you some ideas for shopping for these kind of people. But if you're going to start doing this or you know somebody who says they're going to start doing this, a big part of this is being in shape and having the strength to go with it. Your survivor's mentality goes a lot farther when you're in decent physical shape. So for under $10, you can get any of these type items. Just go to the Walmart workout section Get them a small set of hand weights that cost about $10 a piece. You can get them a good jump rope for about 5 or $6 so that they can start working on their cardio when they don't have a lot of time. And even just this little hand squeeze ball to work on your grip strength and dexterity and everything. So that when you're trying to work those fire starters with cold, wet fingers, you, can, you have some muscle to go with it and everything. Being in shape is an important part of it. And $10 to $15, you can get them a good way to start at Walmart. And that's pretty much my video. I know it was really, really long and that there's a lot of little items everywhere. Like I said, this is just for stocking stuffers. And if you wanted to start somebody off on survival or you know somebody who's into that kind of thing, this is all great stuff that you should have anyway. Um, it's just good little things for just in case. And I guess that's our motto, right? Just in case. A couple items I didn't show, of course, because I don't have mine with me, but I keep them at the house are books books on this kind of thing books are a great place to start doing your research my favorite two of course being survive with an exclamation mark by les stroud and build the perfect bug out bag you can see it in my first set of videos there's a great way to go there's a whole multitude of books on survival and preparation and any kind of skill that would go into it so if you want you can get them the books to start but i hope everybody has some good holidays i probably won't make any more videos till well after the new year but 
I might, I might not, but I don't think I will. And I just wanted to give you this one that just showed a great little shopping list. If you just wanted to, you know, to me, getting people stuff to survive and prep is meaningful. So have a Merry Christmas, everyone, and God bless. Be safe out there.